Hello, my name is Philip Schmidt. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at Nautel, and I'm presenting to you today a new concept that Nautel has developed that allows us to combine multiple digital radio signals in the FM band to create a wider bandwidth signal with much more data capacity than a single uh, digital signal. This concept works with existing receivers um, because each receiver will essentially pick up the signal as it's always been defined as a single channel. Uh, but our transmitters can now effectively tr combine multiple channel allocations out of one transmitter, one antenna, and uh, one location. So we're showing you here uh, this concept running live on our broadcast transmitter. Uh, and the respective signals have been developed by our partners. Uh, our concept we apply at a lower level uh, where it does not matter as much which standard it is, but it is a generic concept that allows us to transmit combine these signals and we have sufficient linearity and uh, transmitter performance to allow for such signals to pass through our amplifiers. So let's have a closer look at uh, the two options that we have, HD multiplex and DRM multiplex next. And before we look at what we can do in the future with up to 12 to 15 audio services and data services, uh, let's have a quick look and see what uh, today's signal looks like in what is called a hybrid configuration where we have the FM signal along with the HD radio signal and I will present a roadmap uh, of how we can achieve all digital transmission one day and in a smooth uh, transition from FM broadcasting today to hybrid FM plus HD broadcasting to all digital broadcasting and all of it based on the same receiver base uh, that, that will work on all of these transmission methods. Okay, we're now looking at a traditional or, or, or very commonplace uh, hybrid FM and HD signal where I've placed the FM carrier in the center here shown as some of a triangular shape. It is placed at 100.7 megahertz. That's what your FM receiver would tune into. That would be your, your station frequency. And we have the HD sideband on either side of that that can give you up to 150 kilobits of data throughput. Uh, we can put four audio services and a mix of data services on there. Uh, we could potentially even put up to five audio services. Uh, right now we're running about 3.5 kilowatt FM carrier on this GB transmitter, which is a typical uh, operating power for a hybrid uh, power level. Uh, the important thing to notice here is that the majority of the power is in the FM carrier. The HD is only about 10% of the overall power and, um, and that, that will become very important when we actually go to turn off the FM carrier. So let's do that next. In this configuration I've already turned off the analog FM carrier and we're left with the two sidebands that would normally be in the hybrid signal. Now I will show you how we can start our HD multiplex with the remaining uh, stations on the same transmission. This is the control panel associated with those two sidebands and they are the standard Xperia uh, fourth generation software and we can see the traffic lights tell us it's running. Those are the two sidebands that are already there. I will now switch over to the 100.6 uh, megahertz station and it's not running yet so we hit the run button here and the traffic lights will start to transition to uh, green. And once they do, the sidebands will start coming up. I will do the same thing with our station at 100.8. I will also hit the run button here and we will switch over to our transmitter. And here we go. Here is the 100.6 station coming online alongside with the other sidebands that are there already. And 100.8 is coming shortly. Here we go. And it's, uh, they're all now from the same transmitter for audio services on each set of sidebands for a total of 12. And of course we extend it to uh, more audio services later. So this would be ideal for multilingual programming. Um, you know, if, if you have the need to, to cover a large seg or many segments of your population with different languages. Um, this concept is very applicable to single frequency networks and uh, therefore you can start to think about rolling out an entire um, uh, network across the nation. Um, not all of these stations have to be single frequency network. You can only pick two, one or two of those sidebands and the other ones can be local or regional content. Um, you can choose th the way you want to allocate the languages uh, and it's a very very versatile system. Best of all, this migration strategy to go from FM only broadcasting 
to hybrid broadcasting to all digital broadcasting uses the same set of receivers. We see that the three sidebands here um, and we've got a few receivers. So right now we're tuning to uh, station 100.8 megahertz. So that is the right hand to the, the sidebands, the right outermost sidebands. And you can see we've got several HD radio uh, services on here. And let's see, yeah, here we go. So we've got one service here and we've got multiple services. Up to four services is what I have configured right now. And I'll just turn that down a little bit. So we've got four services on that set of sidebands, another four on the one beside it, another four beside that as well. And it is now all running live on standard DTS software, the latest release software that's available to us manufacturers. It is simply triplicated. You're getting three times the bandwidth, three times the audio services, and it works with existing receivers. So we've just looked at the HD multiplex concept for HD radio. Let's have a look at the same concept applied to DRM. And on, on our transmitter here, we have six DRM signals uh, put together using our multiplex technology. The signals are provided by our partner, Arf Mondial, uh, who, pro, who uh, compute the uh, channel modulation. We combine the, the signals in our transmitter. We make sure that we can pass them through sufficient linearity. And all of the nice benefits uh, of transmitter combining that apply to HD radio also apply to DRM. DRM may be a little bit more versatile in the sense that it's a single sideband per transmission. So we could do one, two, three, four, five, six sidebands. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more flexible in that way. Um, and, but uh, overall, it, you know, each transmission standard provides its own benefits. Um, so uh, the, the overall concept will, does apply to both. We've also brought with us uh, an RF Mondial uh, modulation monitor that picks up the signal and uh, we have it running live uh, down, down here. We can have a look at the, uh, the output of the uh, monitor here. Currently we're, we're tuned to 98.4, which is a 16 qualm uh, constellation signal. Um, and we, we can also provide, uh, or DRM also provides a 16 qualm constellation for additional robustness. We can now uh, tune to the adjacent channel, for example, 98.3. 98 98 and it tunes to the next station over, 98.2. Now provides us with a Q QPSK constellation. So as we can see, the the individual channels are not impacted uh, by the adjacent channel. They they all stay with their own allocation. Um, all of the the modulators produce symbols at the same time uh, with perfect frequency spacing, and in doing so, we make sure there is no uh, adjacent channel interference between uh, reception. This way, we can extend our transmission, get more bandwidth. Um, and uh, get more radio services out there, utilize our spectrum much, much more efficiently. And uh, we believe our, our concept of both of HD radio and DRM multiplexing uh, is an ideal fit for nationwide rollouts uh, or for applications where you have multilingual services. Um, and it is a, a, a great way of moving digital radio forward.